Oil prices may be easier on our pocketbooks at the gas pump, but it's causing many companies in the oil and gas industry to plan for layoffs. Although the market is tough on oil and gas, one industry expects to benefit from the layoffs. KFDM's Lauren Hewitt is investigating. She joins us now in the studio to share what she's learned. Lauren? Kelly, one of the oil companies that's announced planned layoffs because of the downturn in the market is Halliburton. The Houston-based company announced last week it plans to cut up to 8% of its global headcount. That's about 6,400 possible layoffs. A spokesperson tells KFDM the company values every employee they have, but they're faced with the difficult reality of a challenging market environment. The industry that hopes to scoop up those employees? Construction. Jerry Vandervoort is the project executive at Spa Glass Construction. He hopes the potential layoffs in oil and gas bring workers back to the construction industry. Over the past few years, we've had a losses of guys leaving the construction industry and heading to the oil and gas for the Eagleford Shell and the Permian Basin. Vandervoort says they need experienced workers. So hopefully those guys who've left can come back to the construction industry because uh, there's a lack of qualified workers in the construction industry right now, and it's a challenge with the amount of work that's out there to uh, properly staff these projects. I think we'll see the resumes come in in a two to three month lag from the announced layoffs because the layoffs actually haven't happened yet. They've been announced. Announced layoffs at a time Vandervoort says Southeast Texas is poised for growth. The uh, LNG expansion, so once those get kicking, then everything else will trickle and pass uh, behind it. We have the ExxonMobil expansion to be the largest refinery in North America. So all those drive this local economy and will drive other construction. His message to anyone facing a potential layoff. Uh, keep your head up. I mean, there's opportunities out there, especially in the commercial construction industry. 